So you've got egg lungs. I'm, I don't care, okay? I'm, I'm just gonna verify this. Yep, looks right enough. Great, wonderful. Now we're gonna diagnose you with the Roni. Go home. Too many mistakes. You're fired. Game over. <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome back to the most thought-provoking and pointlessly stupid series on the internet. Three random games. We'll start things off with a game called Silent But Deadly. The human ego is a fragile thing. Help Ricky to fart unnoticed. <laughs> Do you see what I mean? You start off with thought-provoking, you immediately follow it up with stupid. <laughs> you have two minutes. Okay, I think the way this is gonna work is we're gonna be a student who's currently in class and taking a test, trying to figure out that six plus four is not 25. <laughs> it's easier said than done when your butt pressure is building up. So how about we deal with that? Uh, how do I fart? <laughs> Would it, oh, yeah, I know, that's another thought-provoking question on my part, but waste it. Your reputation was ruined. <laughs> Wait, what? I only had one little tiny toot. How is that such a big deal? What about that guy's reputation? I let out one little cheek wibbler. Meanwhile, it sounded like that guy was doing a duck call from his butthole. How about we try that again? Except for this time, I'll try to be a little bit more discreet about it. Oh, oh, here we go. That's a good opening. Uh, You three heard nothing. Right? That was the duck call. I figured that was an opening, like it would drown out my butt song, but apparently not. It's really difficult to concentrate when it looks like your teacher's moo moo took a hit of acid before class. <laughs> Maybe I need to create my own opening? That was not discreet. Oh, oh, oh. I think that worked? Is that your phone ringing? No, that's somebody hunting quail behind me, I'm telling you. Uh, I'm not sure what that was, but I don't even have a phone. Or call me whenever, miss, 1-900-BUTTS. Or turn down for what? I do not have time for this. I, 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 I don't even have a phone. Good, good, great. Uh, tissues? I think that worked, maybe? Ricky, why did you cough? I bumped my knee, I had something stuck in my throat. Miss, I'm bored, or I had to fart. Uh, I had something stuck in my throat. Okay, great. What is back here making that noise? And since when can you just get up and wander around in a test? Uh, oh crap, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, I'm gonna burst, I'm gonna burst. Pencil sharpener. Oh, oh, no, no, I'm, I'm first in line. I'm first in line, get out of the way. Get out of the oh, come on. I think the trick here is to wait out the clock and avoid getting shot if there are any low-flying birds, maybe? But we only have to deal for two minutes. So I, I could just let the pressure build up. I only got one phone call, so I might as well make my lifeline count. Wait for it. Wait for it. Hold. Turn down for what? Oh, oh, that's the good stuff. Yeah, you, you can't smell anything, right? Just turn your empty head around. Is that your phone ringing? Uh, no, no, d don't even have a phone. Don't know what you're talking about, miss. Is there anything else in here for me to interact with? There's a book. Is that, is that important? Oh. Okay. I can apparently throw stuff at the teacher. That's good. Uh, it's tissue time now, I think. It's you. <laughs> Flawless execution. Um, I bumped my knee. Okay, I think that worked. If I give a bad answer, I think that pisses her off, so we might want to avoid that. Uh, hey. Catch. No? Oh, crap. Um, book? I, I can get books and stuff, but I, maybe I need to hit her? Crap, no, no. Okay, I can get books from across the class, but uh, yeah. This is not... Okay. This is good, right? Is this, is this playing out well? <laughs> is she gonna be pissed by that? Uh, you can call me whenever you like, miss. Oh, that angered her. Okay, so we probably don't want to hit her with the book. Don't tell me I farted when I threw that book. <laughs> no, no, I threw the bark and ah. The gas has built up so much that it's reached my brain and it's made it incredibly difficult for me to finish sentences. 
<laughs> Don't get up. I need you to cover me. Actually, maybe not. Maybe now I can hit the teacher with something. Doesn't seem to have done anything. Eh. Miss, you have no idea how difficult it is to take a test when that's constantly going and you're quite psychedelic. Oh, crap. There we go. Oh, that was close. I think it's about every 30 seconds I need to relieve myself. Um, yeah, I, I, I just want to get out of here. That was nothing. Wait, can I just go to the bathroom? Why didn't I think of this before? Oh, my God. This is... Oh, it echoes. Okay. I could go out and, and let one fart out. <laughs> She's probably not gonna let me go again, is she? Or is he leaving? Oh, it's only one student at a time. That's good to know. Okay, so we still have the tissues. We've got crumpled paper. I don't suppose I could, uh... uh I wanna see it. <laughs> I didn't mean this tissue. Uh, I bumped my knee. Don't, don't question me. I wanna get that... Crumpled paper. There we go. Okay, come on. Uh, Kobe. K -K Kobe. 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 Uh, why am I staring at it? I can't. I can't let it. I can't let it go. It's stuck to my hands. Friends. Family. Anybody? Teachers. I can't get rid of it. I've only got 20 seconds. Come on. Oh my God. What is happening? <laughs> Miss. Miss. I can't take the test. There's paper in my face. No. No. That. That's not me. That's on me, I swear. Oh my god. Why would a crumpled up piece of paper stick to my eyeballs? I just wanted to see what would happen if I could sink it from here. I'd be a class hero. Oh my god, you have to be kidding me. <laughs> it's so close. What else do I have to work with? I can go, oh. It's every time a student gets up to sharpen their pencil or clip through the pencil sharpener. You're a big distraction, you know that? Sit down, or, or whatever you consider sitting down. I can't sit down because I, I need to turn down. There we go. Okay. That's a big relief. We, we were quivering there. Uh, yeah, call me. Call me, miss. One nine hundred butts. Yeah, you know what? You, you could shove it. I think I can get away with some shenanigans. Is there anything else? There's lots of books. But I don't know the point of the books. Could I maybe sink one of the books in the basket? I just want to sink something in that basket. Oh, come on now. I got lots of time to waste in between farts. Like, I'm not like I'm taking a test or anything right now. Maybe I can block the teacher off. Uh, oh. There we go. There we go. Uh, you, you didn't hear anything, right? Uh, bumped my knee. Good. Good. Great. 48 seconds left. We're doing it. Okay. I really don't know if I can hit her. It doesn't seem like it. Oh, I can't hit her. She just doesn't care. <laughs> Good to know. Why is nobody disciplining me right now? <laughs> Being a complete what? Oh, oh. Um, um, I, 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 I fell asleep. What? Uh, I thought, I thought the spider. Spider. I, I saw a spider and I yelled. That's that's what it was, right? Um, twenty seconds left. I could probably just go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. I, I okay. I'll, I'll be right back, everybody. Not farting outside. Everybody, just hum to yourselves. Okay. I think we're good, right? We've all got five seconds left. Please, please, please tell me this is done. Just give me my F so that I can go home. Look at me, I'm doing such a good job writing this test. I think we're good. Nobody suspected a thing. Three random games. Our next game is called Good Doctor. And you might not be able to tell that from the main menu, but you will notice that it's spelled doctor with a K and not a C. That's for good reason. I can't be sued for malpractice and lose my license if I never had a license to begin with. Was there supposed to be some kind of orientation or something? <laughs> it's gonna jump right into it. We'll make it up as we go. Will you take blood for analysis? Yes, yes, many, or no? <laughs> I don't even know what your problem is. I mean, you got enough space between your titties to park an aircraft carrier. I might be able to diagnose cleavage longitis with many blood. Okay, well, I'm happy that we're on the same page. What else do you want? A coupon? No, we don't give out coupons here. <laughs> Ms. Marion, is it? Uh, 1999. Your date of birth says 1985. This isn't right at all. 
and you have to give me $20 because of that. <laughs> Am I playing Papers, Please or Quack Doctor? I guess I'm gonna wait for the nurse to come around and take many blood, so how about we just uh, put a thermometer, oh, in your mouth? Not one of the butt ones, huh? 37.3. I don't know Celsius, I only know Fahrenheit. <laughs> We're gonna get temperature, blood pressure, and, oh, no, I'll, I'll take the blood. I'll, I'll take the many blood, don't even worry about it. And then throat? Ooh, is that normal? Should I be saying that if I'm a doctor? It doesn't look good. Uh, and, uh, yep, those are some gigantic, strange eyes. Very weird. Okay, um, I think you're dying. Oh, no, we, we can see how the, the blood tests are doing. Maybe? Blood tests? Here we go. Um, hemoglobin is through the roof. Hemoglobin, uh, uh, lympho, uh, j Jesus Christ, I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm gonna diagnose you with, um, the common cold. Oh, you might have the Roni. Yeah, um, the diagnosis is druid? <laughs> and she's cured! <laughs> wow, talk about failing upwards. Ma'am, I can tell you're upset right now, and it might have something to do with the fact that that shirt isn't very flattering. But just know, you're in good hands. Okay, I'm, I'm batting 100%. Pretty much guaranteed to know the main function of the cell nucleus. Oh, I do know that. That's genetic control of intercellular processes. Yes. Do you just show up to the doctor and, and quiz them on basic biology? <laughs> All right then. What do these buttons do? Oh. These aren't buttons. Oh, they're probably her symptoms. Okay, so she's got an egg in her lungs. She's been bubbling a lot, and lightning has struck her. Uh, you might be a bubbly, coughing Harry Potter. I'm not really sure. Uh, let's check to make sure you are who you are. Yeah, that looks fine. Oh, ooh, wait, it's wrong. What the milked is? What the what the what is what is milked? Okay, fine. I guess I'm paying you twenty dollars now. <laughs> I'm just gonna close out my computer and uh, let's get to diagnosing, shall we? Um, temperature. How's that looking? Thirty-seven point four. I don't know why I keep taking that. I, I don't know what is and isn't high. Uh, throat. Your throat is messed up. Good to know. Um, how about we do this one? This, this time, no, no, I can't do that one. Ultrasound, are you pregnant? <laughs> pregnant Harry Potter. Okay, we'll, we'll get this one. There we go. I only know so many things. 127 over 83, interesting. I already did that. I'm wasting my time here and just gonna stick you through the shirt. Don't worry, if you gotta throw it out, it's not a big loss. <laughs> Blood test is back. It looks the exact same as the last one. Interesting. Interesting, and why are your eyes red there and green here? You have the same eyes as the last lady. That's not good. <laughs> okay, nurse, take a note. Will you stop staring into my soul with those giant red eyes and Michael Jackson nose? <laughs> You're making me sad. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna diagnose you. Screw it. You're apparently a healthy patient. Patient without signs of disease. Uh, that's probably not right, but sure, if you say so, boss. Oh, oh, I can scroll through and pick. I just kind of clicked randomly last time and got it right. <laughs> All right, so you do have chest pains. Your temperature is off. You don't have red eyes. So you probably have a common cold. The diagnosis was druid. <laughs> <laughs> two for two! Can I get some happy patients in here just one time? Would that be too much to ask? How many shades can distinguish the human eye? Lady, this isn't who wants to be a millionaire. Do I look like Regis Philman? Is it 10 million? Oh good, it is. Wonderful. Now, what's your problem? You got egg lungs and you're bubbling. Very good. Can I just diagnose you now? You got the common cold. Go home, idiot. Is this right? No, it's not. Get out of here. I diagnose you with common cold. Too little action. What does that mean? Oh, come on! Really? What the hell is wrong with you? I know you're probably here to ask that to me, but I mean, like, birth-wise. 
Were you pushed out of a potato? Well, I guess I'm just gonna have to do the whole song and dance, otherwise the hospital's gonna be up my ass. What part of the body does not have blood supply? Thyroid, cornea eyes, or tongue? Wait, what did you say cornea eyes? Technically the cornea doesn't have any blood. Yeah, okay, you, you get eye surgery, you don't bleed. This is why I'm the doctor and you're the ET lookalike. <laughs> so you've got egg lungs. I'm, I don't care, okay? I'm, I'm just gonna verify this. Yep, looks right enough. Great, wonderful. Now we're gonna diagnose you with the Roni. Go home. Too many mistakes. You're fired. Game over. <laughs> <laughs> I made $60. That's not too bad for two days of work as a doctor, right? I want to figure out how to use these other machines. Like, uh, apparently we could take a cardiogram, make a lung x-ray, an MRT, examine the patient. That sounds way more fun than temperatures. Do you have a good understanding of geography? <laughs> yes, of course. I was in Prague last week. Do you know where it is? There's no follow-up questions here, lady. Prague is in... Czech Republic? Romania? Ah, uh, yes, it is Czech Republic. Yes, I also like Dublin. Uh, Ireland too, not bad. Ooh, I have impressed her. Okay, so she's been sniffing rags and Harry Pottering. Interesting, uh, Mill. This looks fine. We keep getting money. Where does the money come into play? Is there anything in the news? No statistics. Okay, I've cured a bunch of people. I'm still a student, but I have 120 bucks. Can I, oh, improvements. Okay, here we go. I can get advertising, logistics, equipment, utilities, or personal improvements. Staff quality, what staff? Uh, I want to improve my medical equipment. That sounds pretty cool. I don't think that new equipment's gonna get here till tomorrow, lady, so you better hope that you have the common cold. Yeah! <laughs> Just can't get it wrong. Six cured. Does that mean I'm no longer a student? Why does it keep going? Oh. Yeah! I'm now beginner. I'll take it. Or not. You ran out of money. The clinic is closed. I had like $50! <laughs> what do you mean I ran out of Oh, screw this game! Three random games. Our final game for today is called Life the Game of Chance. And as far as I can tell, it's a super random life simulator. Like, it might not be random enough to make us a flatulent student taking a test, or an unemployed doctor with a K, but <laughs> fingers crossed, you know, maybe we'll get lucky. Welcome, new player. Click to born. It's just that easy, ladies. All you have to do is click to born. Oh, we're a white baby. You're a female born in Europe. Your parents are getting a divorce. Do you want to live with your mother? Do I get a choice? When your head is bigger than your body, you don't really have a say in the matter. I think I'm gonna go with yes. Your mother is lacking money. She's depressed. Do you work hard at school to make her happier? I'm like three years old. I, I mean, yeah, how do you say no to that? You are the first one of your class during all your schooling. Your mother tells you you're the best. You graduate with a film degree. Ooh, debatable. Do you want to become a filmmaker? No, not really. Finding a job outside the filmmaking industry when you are a film studies graduate appears to be a real challenge. You settle for a part-time job that only allows you to make both ends meet. You'll live a long but mediocre life spending the little money you have at the movies searching for the name of your farmer friends in the credits. Is that it? Life doesn't have to be a game of chance. Be tolerant and compassionate with others. Give opportunities to unprivileged ones. A major part of what you are and what you have is due to where you were born. You never deserve it all. Do you want to give it another job? I don't know, man! I didn't think this game was going to be so deep and so short! So many life decisions were made for me! I, I guess is kind of, you know, the, the, the point. Maybe? 
Possibly? Uh, sure, I guess we can go again. Can I get a font that's more legible? Click to born, here we go. Come on, white baby. Uh, not to say I have a preference, but I, I'd like to see if we could have done that better. You're a black male born in Africa. As a brilliant student, you're sent to the U.S. for an exchange. After graduation, you're offered a job in the U.S., but your family insists that you come back to your homeland to take over the family business. Do you fly back to your home country? Oh, man. I mean, I'm Canadian, so I don't know much about America, but I know even less about African life. Uh, I'm gonna say yes. Yeah, we could do great things. You'll come back to your homeland and take over the family business. Things are going well, so well, that many people start to see you as a visionary that could do a lot more for his country. Do you listen to them and begin a political career? I was thinking cults. I mean, African cult sounds pretty sweet. African dignitary is a, the fine runner-up, I suppose. Or... Do we want to say no and hope that that will go? No, I'm going to say, I was thinking maybe no would be cult, but we'll go with yes. You start a dazzling career in politics and you quickly become the youngest local official of your country. One day, a well-dressed man asks to share a coffee with you. He presents a lot of convincing arguments and asks you to stop supporting a proposal for new regulations. You were already thinking about not supporting them. At the end of the meeting, he leaves a suitcase full of banknotes behind. Do you take it? I mean, oh, I, I, I wanted to be a cult leader and then I wanted to be a good person, but like, White Baby had it rough, right? White Baby didn't get... This is so dumb. White baby didn't get rich, and it said that I, I should make the most of things and take opportunities, and I'm gonna take the bribe. Screw it, you accepted the bribe and quickly became one of the most powerful political leaders, but also one of the most corrupted. You'll even get elected president of your country. However, after an attempted constitutional reform to stay longer in office, you will get shot during a violent military coup. Well, damn. Three random games. You know what, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Three Random Games, guys. And two of these three games were recommended in the comments of last episode. So please keep finding these random, strange, funny games, recommend them to me. I might not always do it, but a lot of the times I find gold through you guys. So please keep helping me out because I wanna keep making these videos. But thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.